Hello dudes and dudesses. Take a guess what we are doing in today's video. <laughs> You are quite right, we are building a moss farm. Uh, I wasn't really s expecting to be building a moss farm at this stage. I think there's a lot of them out there, or at least I thought so. But uh, some dude in my Discord community wanted one and couldn't find a good tutorial and one where he actually could see how you make the bone meal go into keeping the farm alive and the surplus going to uh, storage. So I whipped up this. This is... <laughs> <laughs> it's the moss farm graveyard. I finally settled on this. It's nicely compact. It's uh, comparatively very very easy to do. It may not look so but I'll explain what we do as uh, we go along and I will do this as a block by block tutorial. And I call it a moss farm and you of course can not get moss and azalea and moss carpet and so on from it. But I think the real purpose of this farm probably because once you have one must block you don't really need a lot more. You can just bone meal it. So the real purpose of this farm is a surplus farm. It means it produces bone meal that goes down here. Hello? Now some of you guys I know are all about the rates. So I've had this running uh, the night through and it's 800 plus bone meal an hour if you have it in bone meal mode and uh, that's the equivalent of 16,000 plus items an hour. Pretty crazy I think for this very small simple setup. Now I did decide to make it so that I can use it in my world. A lot of uh, moss farms you see out there have something in the middle and uh, a bone meal from top down but but since I was making it, I wanted it to be something that I could have in my base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the floor and I'm going to put glass here so I can walk over and look down because it's actually extremely mesmerizing to look at this. Hello? You know me guys, I'm not always that good at counting, but I tried and uh, take a screenshot. This is probably what you're going to need. Smooth stone, it doesn't have to be smooth stone, it could be any solid block. The glass is totally optional, it could be replaced with a solid block of your choice. You do need some stone, not a whole stack, I just put it in there. The spruce fence, it doesn't have to be spruce fence, it could be any fence or it could actually also be a wall. Uh, the obsidian doesn't have to be obsidian, it could be a furnace or any other immovable block. And what more, what more, I have opted uh, for using six lava buckets but you can use only three so I have them in here and bone meal in theory you could start with actually only one bone meal but I put in a stack right here now you have to start by getting off the ground or whatever because as you can see there are things down there and we start building up here so if you go one two three four five six and then you go seven across this is where the stone will be lying on so if you do like this and like this. Then you can use a block right here. Remove that block again. That's going to be water and that's going to be water. Oh! And of course stairs. Stairs. They've been there all along. Then you put a stair at each end like this holding the water and then you enclose it with a solid block like this. Like this and like this. Now, as I said, this is water, water, water. And the reason we're not having a traditional stone generator and we're having this gap is that these will be pushing towards each other. And if you do that, then cobblestone will uh, at one point occur. And cobblestone cannot be made into moss blocks. I did learn that the hard way, you see. Now you want to place in normal pistons right there, pushing these forwards and behind them and this is very important you have to place a non-movable block like this now you build out this even more two more like this and you place a solid block right there so you have a nice gap like this water lock the stairs put water there 
and waterlogged the stairs. Over there I use glass uh, in a lot of places, but I'm not gonna do this in this build. It was mostly for debugging, debugging purposes. So what you do is you can just do like this with the same solid block. Now you need to put a solid block over here, over the water source, and in here you need to put lava. Now I like to put in lava sources, but you don't have to. You can just put one in each. Now the stone generator is done and we have to repeat this two times over. What we do is we go one, two, three, four, five, like this. And then we take the blocks that are inside. This is one, two, and one, two. And we do exactly the same over here, like this. And this is the inside of the other one, uh, the opposite one. So we have like, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and then two more here. Then you can go to this one right here, that one there, and you place block underneath, one out in each side, like this. This is where you will place the stairs. Oh, there and there, and then this one you take out like this and you place a block there there and remove that one and you encapsule this one just like we did on the other one like this and now we take our pistons our immovable blocks like this and we put in water there there and there and then we make this rim up here and a block there, and lava there. Then you fill out the stone like this, and you choose a site for the final uh, stone generator. It doesn't really matter uh, technically for the build, it's only where you have room and space. So I wanna do this on this side. I do exactly the same as I did before. I know that there are five here, and there should be, so I go one, two, when you put in the pistons, you want to make a room right there and build this up, sorry, build this up like this and remove that one. You should now have something looking like this and let's just see if we can find the middle. This is where we're going to place our moss blocks. Oh my god, the moss block. I totally did not forget to put it in the chest. I mean, of course you need a must block in a must farm. And I didn't put it in the chest, so I had the chance to tell you, just in case you didn't know, that in 1.17.1 the only way you can get it is by finding it in uh, chests in shipwrecks. That's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Now we need to build this side. This is the collection side and where the clock is. How many buckets of water did I say in the beginning that you needed? Well, you need 10. 10, 10 buckets of water. What you want to do now is place in the hoppers and maybe it's easier if you first place in some chests. So if we go here and you place a chest, one down like this, a chest and a chest and a chest and a chest right there. Then you place in a hopper pointing down there, hopper pointing down there and then you choose because one of the sides will have one more hopper pointing into them than the other. So it should look something like this. Now you go under the middle and you place a chest facing towards this. So you have to know, try and see is this the middle. And you place two hoppers on top of the chest and on top of the hoppers you take two droppers. One dropper, two dropper, and you finish it off with a dispenser right here. You then go to this side and you place your hopper pointing into that like that. And then you just pull them back like this till they're even with the chest. Like this. And now you place in your four composters. If you're worried about lag and open hoppers and stuff like that, you could put composters over this as well. They won't have any function except 
telling the hoppers that they cannot suck, uh, they don't need to suck uh, all the time test if there's something they need to suck. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep these four right here. <laughs> Did I put observers in here? Now it's time to use the uh, observers that I've had in the chest all the time. If you go in here, there should be room. So if you try to go like this, you can see they're all pointing the same way into that middle one right there. And you simply put redstone on it like this. Now we're going to build a circuit right here that the top part of it uh, fires a dispenser up there with water flushing all the carpets away so you can bone meal it again. And the lower part, make sure that there's always bone meal up here uh, enough and the surplus will go down here for you to use in other farms. Now the setup is easy, you do like this and you place a block right there. Three blocks like this, a gap of air, a gap of air, a gap of air. Then you need to take a comparator and go in here and place it pointing that way. Then you can make this a solid block I think like this and over here like this. Do I even need that? No I don't. And then you put a torch on it right there. Right here you punch a hole and you will see water that flushes that away. So right here in that you put a target block right there and then you put a torch under it again. Now if we go up here you won't be able to see it but you will see it right there and you replace that block with a dispenser and we might as well put a water bucket in it right away. Now you're going to build out a block like this and you're going to use another comparator to put right there. What we're measuring through the block is the bone meal in this dropper and when this dropper is full all other uh, bone meal will go down here for you to collect. Now you put a redstone dust right there and you put a block there as well and block there as well and then you put a torch right there and then you put redstone right there nope you put a repeater right there as we only want this comparator or this small system to open for this hopper when this dropper is actually full of bone meal we need to have this comparator to have something to compare to and what we do is we put a redstone block here telling it that only when this one goes below full uh, it should open. So let's just try it out with something. And then did you see it? Now we should probably have one down here. Yeah, there. So that's how that system works. Now you go up here again and you place fence gates or walls, it doesn't matter. You could even place honey block, I think, maybe. Yeah, probably. Uh, just something that makes sure that the items will be flushed over on these hoppers right here. Now the system is nearly done. All we need to do now is build the clock. Oops, I made a mistake. O -o Oops, can you see what it is? How on earth are these composters going to get anything out of these chests? Hmm. All right, the fix is easy. What you do is you prolong this one. It's what happens when it's the first time you build something and you take out these and move it all one back. And now you place hoppers on top of these like this and you place chests right here. And this, these two hoppers are not going to be pointing down, they're going to be pointing into the chests like this and like this. Now these are right which also means that this one should be one higher and we need to place that one back here again like this. This is how it should be looking. All we have to do now is build up a clock that works, that drives these stone generators and I've opted for using Il Mango's clock 
from his uh, symbol stone generator I think it's called so what we do is we build a block right there and you put a block right there and you go one two three like this and then you make a platform that's three by five that's the easiest way to remember it like this and then you take a repeater and you place a repeater right there and then you place a repeater right there but on four ticks and then you place a repeater right there on three ticks a repeater right there on four ticks a repeater right there on four ticks and then we have the activation system we have a repeater right there on four ticks and then we replace that block with a sticker piston like that and uh, we put a sticky piston right there as well and we place a block right there and we place a block right there and then we go over here and we do the same thing here we take out this one and place a block right there this should be the clock then we put a redstone dust right there and a lever right there let's see if it works du oh <laughs> and we put a block right there let's try again super it all works now what you gotta do is you gotta place a sticky piston right here and a sticky piston that's how I chose to do it and do like this and do like this and then you have to add blocks uh, right here right here right here and right here right here right here what you do is you place redstone like this all the way around here and then you need to connect it over there so you need to put a block like this and connect it up and what you do is you place it right here all the way to but not on the middle and you do exactly the same on the other side and then you want to go down right here where this block is and you place a repeater on two ticks like this and you do exactly the same on the other side like this the reason why this is it's it has to do with how the stone is pushed in so you want to have this uh, side activated as well and it pushes slightly later than the other ones and it it works out better then you want to make a wall because when this is uh, pushing it's spraying all over so what you want to do is go here here and here and build up a wall and I just fired that one and now the farm is essentially done so let's try and put in a must block right here like so and then you need to start by putting some bone meal in here in theory one bone meal would be enough but it would take time for the others to go so I'll just put in a stack let's start it up That's not supposed to be a comparator, it's supposed to be a repeater and a repeater on four ticks. And now the farm is working. Yay! Now there's only one thing left, because if we do want some items, we could of course, like I did in the beginning, stand in there. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, so we have to build up a small system right here where we can lock the hoppers so we actually get uh, the the items, the droppings to stay in the chests and it's very easy, we just do like this and we put a lever here and if we flick that lever it will lock these hoppers which means that these chests will slowly fill up and we have access to whatever we, we need. So, but most of the time it will probably be in this mode making bone meal. All right, dudes and dudesses, I uh, hope you liked this tutorial. It was a bit messy, as always, with my tutorials, but uh, I hope you like the farm at least. And if you do, do leave a like on the video. It helps the channel immensely. And if you're brand new and want to see more of this content, subscribe, hit that belly button, all that jazz, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>